This is a demo of the MAST Data Discovery Portal's advanced search feature for MAST observations. I'll first open the advanced search using the link below the search box. The primary advantage to searching via this feature is that it allows you to apply non-positional criteria to your query. For example, you might want to find all HST with C3IR observations that are particularly deep. To do this, I'll select the instrument as with C3IR and pick an exposure length of at least 10,000 seconds. This returns just over 150 observations, which I can load into a grid using the button in the top left of this window. This loads the resulting observations in a separate tab that behaves like a normal mass search. I'll then down-select products offered by the Hubble Legacy Archive and add the products to my basket. From here, it wouldn't be practical to download all the products in a zip file, so the portal offers the ability to download a curl script to execute later. A second advantage to using this feature is the ability to autocomplete column names and search terms, similar to how Google works. By default, only a subset of the available filters are shown. For example, the min and max wavelength columns are not open. Now, this list isn't particularly long, but if it were, I might have trouble finding this button to open it. Or I might just want to see all the columns that might apply to wavelengths. In that case, I could use the search box and start typing wave. As I do, all the non-matching buttons disappear, leaving me with a short list of buttons that I can toggle in order to show their corresponding filter panels. Similarly, I can use the autocomplete feature within a filter to see terms that match. For example, if I type galaxy into the target classification box, a list of all the types of galaxies classified by PIs pops up. Clicking or selecting one and hitting enter toggles whether or not this value is checked and updates my search terms accordingly. Another advantage to using the advanced search is that it allows you to find moving objects that couldn't otherwise be resolved to a position by mast. I could use the red X buttons in these breadcrumbs to clear my filters individually, but instead I'll first clear all my filters using the button on the left, then search on target name for Titan. Note that free text entered in these boxes is implicitly surrounded by wildcards. Downloading the results of this query would contain results with additional target names such as Titan Leading, Titan Trailing, etc. A final feature using the advanced search is that it allows you to download very large CSVs or VO tables directly without trying to load the results in the browser. When there are fewer than half a million observations available, use the second button in the upper left hand corner and choose a format to download. For example, we could download the observation metadata about every observation ever taken by Swift in about a minute. This feature will be very useful when the Discovery Portal incorporates the advanced search capability for our various catalogs. While the advanced search feature is currently limited to mast observations, we expect to extend this functionality to larger collections such as the Hubble Source Catalog soon. This concludes our demo of the advanced search feature. For more of our videos, visit our YouTube channel at STSCI MAST.